Everyone's gonna tell you, all the experts say, create a to-do list to accomplish more. Uh-uh, not on our time, not as a promise keeper. Great day, a day to finally let go, let go of what's not serving us. And as we enter this week together, we praise our efforts and focus that we've put forth into the small commitments that we've made to ourselves. And we're understanding the effects of integrity momentum through satisfying those individual power promises. Now, as the first two power promises become easier, which they are, it's time to resource that same great energy into what not to do in our daily routine. So what exactly is a not to do promise for ourself? Not to do. Well, First, here's a disclaimer. It starts with the clarity of your power promises and your life rules, which I will cover in detail this coming week. So please be patient, it's coming. But let's be honest, can we? We're constantly fighting temptations that try to derail us from our best intentions most every day. Think about it, your obstacles in life far exceed the easy paths to success. At least they used to. So back to what it is for a not to do. So the not to do, let me give you a personal example. For years, I've been a chronic people pleaser. Yep, believe it or not, I'm a recovering people pleasing addict. People pleaser. And by just meeting the demands of what everyone and even the world would they expected from me. So sure, it felt great at the time. Helping random people with their nutrition advice. You know, what's the greatest exercise to sculpt their bottom? I mean, you name it. But honestly, that drained me. I never saw much of any return on any of the invested time. And over many, many years, it just took a toll on me. But this is just what I knew. This is what I knew as I was developing my skills and serving desperate health seekers in the fitness industry for over 17 years. And this habit of people pleasing carried over into my self-employment and entrepreneur, entrepreneurial career. And once I had enough awareness around this people pleasing thing, I decided to make a change and make it a not to do priority in my day to day routine. As a matter of fact, it was my very first not to do promise in our first 90 day sprint together. It was awesome. And just by shifting that energy consistently, it made a profound difference in my focus to accomplish more, more of what I desired to accomplish in my own life. So for you, a not to do could be anything that's not serving you right now in your daily routine. It could be an action, a thought, a choice that doesn't align with your greater objective goal or goals or future achievements. So let's take an honest look at your life right now. You take a look right now, honestly. Where do you desire to free up a poor habit or a distraction that's holding you back from winning in your day? Every day, take a look at the scoreboard that you have access to right now currently. What are other promise keepers committing to in their not to do commitment? If there's something that's on that scoreboard that, you, that resonates with you, I want you to go just rob it. Take it. And as long as you're committed to honoring that not to do promise for yourself daily, it's going to serve you. But be clear on what you're no longer going to tolerate. Maybe it's some ideas. I do not hit the snooze button when I wake up. So no more snooze. Maybe it's a people pleaser. But let's say no more snooze button. Maybe it's, I do not check emails or text messages. No text or email. And be specific. Be specific when that is. So no snooze, no text. It mines 30 minutes every morning. Do not answer every phone call. No phone calls all day. Don't get inundated with the phone unless it's one of your multipliers. Maybe it's, I do not mindlessly surf the internet. No internet. 
or social media during specific times of the day. Maybe it's during your work hours or it's allocated family time. Uh, do not invest time in gossiping or arguing with other people. Gosh, what an energy waste. Reserve your energy for great energizing conversations. No gossiping. No arguments. Whatever it is that's holding you back. Here's a great one. Do not eat or consume food or drink that makes me tired or unwell. How about this? No poor food. Whatever it is, lock into it. Implement that one specific item that identifies your individual weakness or obstacle that gets in your way consistently. We all have them, trust me. And in perspective, you know what? We probably should have talked about this in the beginning stages of our sprint, but what I really wanted to do was to harness the wins. I wanted us to get that spirit of winning immediately out of the gates. And it's an incredible feeling, isn't it? When you can latch onto a positive power promise and you just go for it and you're boosting your confidence, et cetera, et cetera. So now that you're prepared with your not to do promise, how does this not to do commitment follow suit on the accountability scoreboard? How does it all work on the scoreboard? Well, just like your other power promises, your other two power promises, this not to do commitment or promise carries a value of one point daily. So every day that you satisfy your not to do, you're earning yourself a point on the scoreboard. And just by you avoiding this temptation or distraction in your day, you've earned that extra point. It's actually not extra. I expect this from you. This is you taking ownership on your scoreboard in your day. So with the bonus opportunity of the exercise or the movement and the other power promise, you can earn up to four points, up to four points per day, which I expect you to get. I expect you to harness the zero effect in creating sustainable transformation in your life by doing this every day. Here's what I know. You've got this. You've got this right now. And the takeaway here is that having your not to do promise is a powerful way to support you and structure yourself in your own life and create the freedom that you want in your life. Think about it. Who you're becoming to instill the discipline of a not to do commitment to yourself? Like this is how simple it should be. So take a moment today to update your sprint scoreboard with your greatest not to do obligation that's gonna serve you the best and bring you closer to the human that you choose and desire to be. Come on, I told you, you got this. So let's go and I'll see you on the inside.